Welcome. Oh, my Lord, look at this. My little Lala came to say hello to my Libra friend. Oop, watch out, little Lala. Okay, little Lala. I think it's time you have to get down, okay? I was just doing a reading. You know I don't mind when you're here, when it's just you and I. But we got fire, okay, little Lala? Mom doesn't like that, okay? You come back later, okay, little Lala? You come back a little later. Okay, thank you for visiting. <laughs> Aww. She hasn't uh, come to a video in a while, and that's kind of cute, really. Uh, yes, she wanted to say hi. That's so sweet. All right, my darlings, but yes, I, <laughs> I set the table up for the Libra friends for September 2015. I'm sorry these videos are coming a little late. I was involved with that hurricane, so that set me back a couple of days, but we're on track again here, and the readings have been coming up, you know, kind of like energy-wise, really cool, and um, I, I brought out the Rider Tarot deck, and I'm bringing it out for everyone, because the first two pulls, I, I do a six-card spread for these clairvoyant alchemy readings, like every, like every first pull has been really you know like right on like harnessing what we're trying to talk about so i'm gonna keep with that and i decided i just brought out the angel tarot deck for um the water signs and it too we're sending prevalent messages towards us so i'm gonna stay with that and then because libra air element sign cardinal air element sign and uh I bring out the unicorns because that's how I like to do it, you know, and the air element. They're always up in the air like the angels. And here, uh, this angel deck where I brought it out for the mermaids, it also has mermaids in it and it also has unicorns. So as the air element sign are the unicorns. And for every um, uh, zodiac sign, I'm bringing out Archangel Michael with one last pull, uh, the relevance of these powerful September, you know, we had beginning with the lunar eclipse in August 18th for Aquarius. Now we have we had the new moon in Virgo solar eclipse September 1st. Coming September 16th, we're going to have a full moon lunar eclipse in Pisces. Okay. And then October 1st, we start with the new moon in Libra. Okay. And so Libra, and also on 9-9, nine, nine, if you've been following me or new to me, on 9-9, nine, nine, this most magical moment is coming where um, giant Jupiter, the planet of abundance, okay, the planet of luck, growth, expansion, po you know, positive growth, if you're aligning, there, um, Jupiter's trump card is the wheel of fortune, right? You know, it, things come around, but when you're on the top, it's all good, and sometimes it's not, but it always keeps spinning, just like life. It keeps on going. It doesn't stop for anyone. But the fascinating thing about Libra, Libra is the uh, seventh house of the zodiac sign, and that's about marriages and partnerships, okay, and intimate relationships. And the partnerships can be... Uh, a pairing in the respect even in business as well okay and libra is known as the balance scales okay that's the glyph for it and it's about justice so this 9 9 2016 which i said i'm going to do a special video just for this on september 9th or prior um which is coming up here uh on 9 9 2016 which 2016 is also nine so we got 999 going on here it's master numbers and libra in jupiter goes until uh 10 10 2017 isn't not a coincidence 10 10 okay 9 9 to 10 10 and as i understand it planet jupiter um goes into zodiac sign for about 10 months so look at all this cosmic energy and you've been following me i've been talking about these eclipses that they are literally portals from the cosmic realm saying you know, join us. We'll, we'll, if you join us, we'll take care of you. Okay. But you got to walk the talk. You got to align with the divine. But it's fabulous. 
I really, you know, and my <laughs> rising sign is Libra, uh, you know. Uh, so it's like, hmm. That's why I'm pumping it all up for all of us. So, but it's it's masterful time. It's a really grand time, beginning now or when you finally get it. You can you can look into the future now and say, okay, and write in the journal. I think that's very good. You see, I bring out papers that I write five years ago. You know that now make are relevant to me, have relevance for perhaps some of you, but it does to me. But if I wouldn't have written it down, I, I can't even remember what I did yesterday, okay? And now I, I date it, too, because sometimes I pull out papers that weren't dated, and I don't even know when I wrote it. I can I know it all happened, you know, within the last 10 years, but still. These are, you know, and this is not, I, I just repeat, it's not like a man-made thing. It's not like turn on the TV and learn what man is saying. This is cosmic beauty coming for us. Cosmos coming you know, saying, like Cosmos talking to the, you know, to Moses. <laughs> I mean, that kind of thing can happen to you. I really believe that. I really believe that some of us who are finally saying, I'm opening up to spirituality. I know there's another realm higher than the eight to five job, whatever, how you want to look at it. But if you open your heart, because it is, it's not about the mind in the respect. Now, the intellect is about the air sign, yes. And we have to think straight before we can even put that heart into motion. But imagine when you bring your body, mind, and soul, and heart, and all that together to align, they'll work with you. That's what they want. They truly do. And for those of you seeking relationships in a partnership or a business, or a relationship in romance, this is open window. Beyond an open window, doors just flying open if you believe if you believe but you got to walk the talk and you you got to believe in spirit you know it's not like saying oh i believe and then you're shady no well you know the higher realm always knows what you're doing with that all right my darlings well let's pick some cards and see what we say for libra it's been very intriguing okay we got to go through it here Yes, it's been uh, from September. And the beautiful thing about these eclipses, it's like it's powerful for three months. Whatever you're putting out there, whatever you're writing down as your intentions to manifest or how you're, you know, decluttering your home and your mind, you know, how you, however you're flowing into the limelight there of the supernatural cosmic realm, uh, it's going to come back to you. It really does. It's called karma. So... Believe in al-karma, and uh, let's see what happens, okay? All right, I have one card in my hand already. Let me just push that. I don't want it. But I think that's great. I mean, really, the last time I felt like wonderful energies like this was back in 2012 with the Venus transit, and then it was the Mayan 12-12-12, like it was all you know, electric, and I'm not the astrologer or the astronomer, I, I really feel I harness energies, and uh, I, I literally, and there's no rush, no baby steps, that's the beauty of this timing right now, you got till next year to set yourself up for the delivery, okay, for the delivery, so do so, my darlings, and I'm, you know, kind of opening it a little longer for the Libra, because you know, I feel attached to that as well. The Libra, you know, mentality. And it is about balance. Keep your balance. Baby steps. No need to rush. We don't do anything from here on out. That's your life, mission, purpose, sanction in a rush form. Okay? Day by day, we learn what we need to do next. All right, let me just take a moment to do my breathing. Oh, my little candle went out. Oh, okay, well, I'm not going to mess with that right now. Yeah, okay. All right, let me just uh, do an exhale right now. Deep exhale, strong. 
And as I do that, I bring my belly in, my abdominal wall in tight. And then I take a deep breath. And I extend my belly out like a Buddha does. Buddha belly out. And try to hold it. It's all controlled movement. Yeah. It, it puts you in a check check, I believe. But you all feel comfortable whether you're sitting down or lying down. Just always, you know, pay attention to your vertebrae, your spine. You always want to be in body alignment. Okay. Wee! So we have six cards now. All right, so yes, I, I've been looking forward to the Libra read, not so much because it's in my chart, but mainly for this, you know, going in within, today's the 5th, Labor Day, happy Labor Day to the USA, <laughs> and to everybody else, you know, go outside, enjoy, love your family and your friends, and, you know, I, I really feel that much wonder is going to happen in these next 12 13, 14, 15, 16 months. It's going to be wonderful. Okay, and then I'll put one from Archangel Michael at the end. All right, and many blessings to you all. And thank you, my new subscribers and commenters. I, I enjoy, you know, answering you. I, I, I really do. I enjoy it. King of Cups. I'm telling you, the Rider Tarot deck. Now, this deck has been around over a hundred years, okay? Over a hundred years. And uh, it really, you know, was one of my first decks. This is the second deck I have. But the Magician in front, we've been talking about that. That came out strong and, oh, I forgot what sign already, but the Magician Within, Becoming Our Own Alchemist. We've been talking about that in this channel as well. And becoming that magician, okay? but. When you do become your high priestess, magician, alchemist self, some of that has to stay secret, okay? You have to. The King of Cups, which if you follow me long enough, this is my favorite king. He is my favorite king, no doubt about it. I love him, okay? I love the King of Cups. And, and we've talked about this enough. When the queens and the kings come through, it's all about mastery, mastering yourself. But the beauty of him is that he's the loving father card. He comes from his heart, okay? He comes from, not only does he intellectually have to think, you know, for the kingdom with wisdom, but he literally, emotionally does put it together that, hey, I want to be happy. I want my kingdom to be happy. I want us to prosper together, you know, peace, having peace. And it's all about that, okay? He's an emotional uh, father figure, all right? But he does bring peace. So to me, he's just, and there he is. Look, holding the grail. That has come out as well. The holy grail has come out a couple of times. You know, that transcendence into your soul. You want to tap your soul with the love, the love. Look at him. And there he is. He's on a, you know, like a, a stone palette here, but the water, see the water right there? I, I just love the King of Cups. You know, he's, he's like the visionary. See his eyes right there? See how he's looking? Like he's looking into the future. And that's what we have to do now. We literally have the cosmic realm working with us into the future. And Jupiter, all about abundance. And my Libra friends, it's in our sign. Okay? So please, become the visionary. Believe in yourselves. No doubt about it. Believe on what you focus on. Believe in you. Okay, look at that. Put it by the big shell here. And I, I found both these shells. <laughs> Back in the day, you don't find shells like that anymore around Florida. 
that was when I was in my like twenties and teens. Page of Wands. Okay, see now we have another intellect here. Another master of creativity. But see him looking up now? He's on earth looking up. And that's what we want from our intellectual Libra friends. You want to ground, or for all of us, all of us, doesn't matter what zodiac select you're on. We want you now, you know, whatever zodiac sign you are, we want you to ground with mother and look up to the sky, okay? That's what we, we would like from all of you, okay? And this is all about mental creativity, success through creativity, okay? But as a page, it's young blood. And sometimes the wands, the fire boys, okay? Oh, page is usually a female as well, but it kind of goes, you know, the tarot is different on that. But just know that sometimes you can be stubborn and willful. But I don't think this this page of wands is securing with that because, look, he's grounded and he's looking up. He's grounded and looking up and thanking, you know, the creativity of the masters above, you know, of, of the higher realm, saying thank you for teaching me. It's also like a romantic personality as well. You know, the wands are all about that fire, passion, energy. Like maybe this person even, uh, you know, suggesting, please send me. Send me the romance of a lifetime. And it could happen these next into next, you can set, you can pray, you can. I mean, literally, I believe this. I literally believe this time more than any other time. If you are really releasing the past, getting the chatter out of your house, your head, the decluttering of all, everything that you no longer need, donate, and you're waiting for that partnership, whether it be in business or romantic I really feel that you know they want to bring it to us I mean I'm reading the Libra card and look at this he, he's the king of love <laughs> king of love is here king of love is here and then we have this young blood of fire but he's looking for romance I think so as well okay you know He's got some fire in him. He's holding his huge one staff here, you know, like the ace of fire. Kind of cool. I love it. You know, and, and beyond the romance as well, it could also mean like adventuring. Adventuring into... Uh, a new life. He's looking up. There's a reason. Please. I want to be an adventurer. Okay. I, I want to be moving into where you direct me. But direct me towards a, a romantic, you know, wonderful, happy life. Right? That's all we, what we ever want in life. Right? We might, you know, go to school to learn. But eventually we want to meet that soulmate have our children, you know, and it really doesn't matter anymore what age you are. Look at these, um, these dating things or whatever, you know, even in your 50s and 60s, they, they're dating on these things, on these sites. But the king of love is here, the page of wands, you know, the adventurer, but seeking what he wants. He's and he's looking up, people. we got to look up and ask the cosmos and thank the cosmos. If you work with me, I work with you. Look at this. Now we have another page of earth. Scholarly, dependable, patient, successful. Good news about financial matters. Wanting to do something more challenging. A new area of study. Okay, well, there we go. You know, 
and the page see sometimes the page now this is remember this is over 100 year old kind of deal here but the page nowadays is seen as a female but nonetheless we have the energy when i see the pages and the knights that's young blood okay young blood energy so we can do it and here we are on earth and i kind of like to see you know the king of cups obviously is going to be you know in the ocean here in the on on the water on the water the cups the emotions the water signs feminine receptive and we have feminine receptive with the earth okay uh, but the fire is masculine but with the page of earth you know it has a lot to say okay it's like go for it in the respect of what you want don't give up on you believe in you and you can see all these beautiful um, starlight on her flowers around her butterfly transformation oh my lord transformation was going on yesterday it was crazy mm -hmm. no doubt about it the water signs were going crazy with transformation in case you have you know water signs in your charts but I love how for the air signs the king of cups came out for us it's like we got to work with our emotions because some of us sometimes are so cerebral so in intellectual intelligence but you don't come from your heart okay and we have to work with it that's about that's what metaphysics is all about you work with all the elements you kind of flow with every single one and we look up to the earth air fire water but i find this fascinating here i find it fascinating that two pages has come through saying you know you got the you got the energy to continue even if you're starting anew even if you're going to change your whole life you know and i i can relate to that i changed my whole life starting at 50 all right so we can always change our life towards what we believe comes from our heart and soul and i'm encouraging that I truly am. I'm encouraging you all to really pay attention, you know, to what your soul purpose is, what's your life plan. You know, a life plan is intellectual, which we need to do that. You know, if you want to become a doctor, you have to go to school, right? But imagine when you also come from your heart and you master yourself from that, that zone <laughs> and you're in an in and cerebrally intelligent master what what a win-win what a you know you you'll zoom up to the heavens like this <laughs> when it's time for you to go because you've accomplished so much i mean a king of cups to me in my heart i feel that people love him that's what we need we need a king of cups <laughs> to rule this freaking usa five of water Things not turning out the way you'd hoped. Not seeing the positive in a situation. Crying over spilled milk. Okay, well, here we go. So, let's look at this for a moment. Okay. But now, pay attention. What's standing up? The Two of Cups. Okay. The Two of Cups. And I, I've said enough. That's my favorite card in the whole tarot. It really is. And the Two of Pairing. Okay. What Libra is all about, working together, whether in partnership, romance, it's it's a pairing. Okay, so in case sometimes things don't work out for you, don't give up. All right, don't give up, because spirit still has these two of cups ready for you. You know, and five's about changes, no doubt about it. So change your attitude, change your mind, change your heart, and Believe in the divine because no matter what we go through and sometimes, you know, it's not really us. Sometimes people bring us bad thoughts, you know, even on the YouTube, you can have people adore you and then you have people who don't. It's just how it is. But you got to have a thick skin for all of that as well. Uh, this planet is not a gentle planet in any way. But what we're trying to say with this card 
don't you put uh, in your mind things that don't even exist. You know what I mean? And if you're unsure and questioning, then give it up to the universe. And that's what exactly what we have to do. Coming from September to next October 2017 is whatever you are willing to achieve in your life with a soulful connection, give it up to the universe. And they will bring you the people. They will bring you the opportunities. Things will can fall in your lap when you've been saying, wow, I've been on this planet for 38 years and it's never fallen in my lap yet. But why don't you try this routine here? Okay? Why don't you try this? So five of water, five of cups. And here we have king of cups. Okay. So, you know, I'm sure as a young young man it wasn't simple for him at all okay but just go on your journey go on a journey and believe in love okay this is what we have to do now these next few months as libra all about you know marriage if you want if that's what you want partnerships okay intimate relationships then you know get yourself in check imagine now, this is the King of Cups, and I don't really speak gender specific, but let's say this is male, right? King of Cups, male, and a female is searching for this kind of love. Well, she's got to kind of be coming from her heart, too, right? So you, you have to really represent what you want, but I really believe that, uh, I mean, I've been on the YouTube five years, and now I, I swear going into 2017 if we align with great spirit or source or power higher realm whatever however you like to call it no matter and you know what no doubt about it even if you want to see um the future come to you okay the future come to you in the respect that you really are staying positive walking your talk Decluttering your home and your mind of nonsense, turning technology off, aligning, meditating. You know, just understand that when the universe comes for you, you'll be ready. Okay? You will be ready. And that's what I'm trying to do on this channel. It's like, let's get us ready. Okay? Get us ready. Because this is, this is like, this is wonderful. It really is moving change is happening so be prepared to move physically or spiritually there you go oh my 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 and look how cute back in the day my blue and gold macaw would <laughs> he he's like beachy baby beachy baby loves cards and i'd be with the cards and he just <laughs> put a nice little chunk out of them but see fives about that movement changes traveling okay you know change of heart perhaps sometimes and maybe you know perhaps some of us want to change our heart because yeah you know what i'm sort of like confused in this department and i truly would like to be you know mastering my domain and and a beautiful family but we got to keep moving people moving on the spiritual plane moving on spiritually that's wonderful. Look at this card. What a what a great card to come through right now. Moving. See? Look, I even put three hearts back in the day. It's so positive. And this, you know, this this I can honestly say when I had my bird, I was living in the spiritual closet. I literally was. No doubt about it. I kept things, even though I was married close to, you know, in relation twenty years, I kept everything hidden. Because <laughs> he didn't like it. But life moves on, my darlings. And you can see, see we want to look up. We want to look up to the sky. That's where spirit lives, okay? Up in the sky. Up in the universe. Look to the stars. Look to Luna. Look to our sun star. Sun star right there in the image, okay? Okay, my darlings, Libra. It's about movement. Getting out of the funk, which we all can get in the funk. 
especially if people are putting us there. So, but we aligning with the divine, with the spiritual self, is going to be the advantage. It's going to be giving us the edge and the movement. It'll give us the energy. You know how sometimes you have no energy and then all of a sudden one day you have all this energy? It's because they sometimes I think they give us, you know, energy to do, accomplish what we got to get done. Even if it's exercise or, you know, cleaning out a closet, all of a sudden you're motivated. I think it's very the way to be positive about it all. Okay? Oh, my Lord. Libra. We're it's a blessing. It's a blessing from Jesus himself. 44 angel realm numbers. The Christ. Open the door to the kingdom of heaven. In the name of the glory of God. You know, people, I don't know if you believe in Jesus. You know, whether you're Hindu, Chinese, where are you come from? It, you know. But to me, Jesus is my Lord. I was raised Catholic, so it's easy for me to say that, okay? But he's come through in this deck via the unicorns. I got to tell you, now, I've been saying these last, I've dropped six of the reads already. This is the seventh read for September. This is my most happiest read yet. We have Jesus with us right now. I don't think this card has ever come out of my YouTube channel. Actually, I even forgot that Christ was in this deck. See his heart, heart chakra shining because he's a sway, king of cups, no doubt about it. Oh my God. Oh my God. This is like. I'm telling you, they want the best for us. They really do. This is the last card in the deck. 44. Last card in the deck. The Christ and unicorns both love unconditionally. This card invites you to radiate pure love without judgment to everyone you meet. This will open the doors of heaven to you. And the affirmation, I love everyone unconditionally. That's just. And we have the cherubs in the back. The halo of the sun behind him. I know people, that's why I pick random cards because when it comes through that, I, I can't even plan it, you know, I mean, I can't even, let's just see what the moving card has to say, because we got to move now, Jesus just came into the casa, <laughs> Jesus in the house, floating in the air, <laughs> Jesus is always floating in the air. That's what Jesus does, and that's why he came through for the air Libra sign. It's fantastic. Moving. This card suggests that change, internal or external, is imminent. Prepare yourself to move forward and know that the unicorns will help you to make something wonderful happen. And the affirmation. My unicorn is helping me to move forward. How fat you must. I have a unicorn. <laughs> I do. I've shared his name before, but I won't share it right now because for some of you who are new to my channel, I'm sure you think I'm crazy, but I really do. I'll say his name. His name is Nryhorn. And he's taught me much wisdom. But 
this is this is out of this world. Never would I have even thought this would be happening. You know, I'm going to just close it with Jesus. I'm going to put the King of Cups by Jesus. And that's how we're going to do it. We all get in our funk. We all have issues within us. But we got to shut down the technology and go within. And uh, again, I just love that the kingdom of he heaven is opening up these doors. And, you know, let's think about it this way. With these energies beginning now, with these eclipses, with going into 2017, October, and God knows what's going in there. Because, you know, I'm not the astrologer. I don't really look up things like that. But in the sign of Libra, my darlings, whether, you know, you're a Libra or your loved one or your children, why you're watching this video, we got to look up to the heavens, my darlings. Even this young, you know, page of, of fire right here. The wands are all about fire. Looking up. That's no coincidence that this card came through. I think it's fabulous. I think so. And, you know, he's holding that ace or one club, one staff. It's a birth, a new birth, okay? You know, for for a project as well. But he's looking to the cosmos for it. I, I have to say, I just feel very positive. Very positive. And if you want to learn something new, go for it. You know, listen. If you love to go to school, go for it. And now, nowadays, you can just go online and study. It's just magic. We have to become spiritual warriors, my darlings. That's exactly what we're going to do now. We are spiritual warriors. We're becoming spiritual warriors with unconditional love. To help heal and aid others to grow so they're not stuck in the mud in this eight to five system and you know being trapped and lost because we can't rely on the governments no we cannot we have to rely on the supernatural now the spiritual whatever whatever words you want to use to it god the divine Admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly. I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. There it is, my darlings. And that's why we need courage and strength. Courage and strength. Because it does take courage and strength to change your whole world around. No matter what age you are, it does. You know, this is not like, oh, you know, it's a free ride. There's no free ride in the spirit realm. Miracles come from the spirit realm. Miracles do. Oh, yes. Miracles don't come from man. Miracles come from unconditional love from the spirit realm. However, we have to walk and talk, okay? We have to walk and talk the path. And even, even people who don't believe have had miracles. Okay? And that's why I just don't understand how we're in 2016 and all of this is still, you know, not even believed. I don't get it. Because many people have had miracles. Even those who wouldn't, don't even believe in religion or traditions or spirituality. Boom, a miracle happens. Their child was saved. Something. But it's going to move forward. You've drawn this card because there's an important feeling that you've been trying to ignore. 
Yet try as you might to push it aside, this feeling urges you to be honest with yourself. Archangel Michael says that facing this truth will be healing and it will give you the direction and guidance you seek. You've tried to disregard your inner urging because you're worried about making life changes. <laughs> making life changes. So you're worried. No worries, my darlings. No worries, my darlings. Archangel Michael reassures you that he's guiding you and making sure that your needs are met and your relationships stay healthy. Look at this. Right for Libra. The relationship zodiac sign for marriage and partnerships and balance and justice. That's what I'm saying. We can find justice, my darlings. And look at this. The Christ is here. I just... I never thought, I, I like I said, I, I forgot he was in this deck, and I just can't believe he came through. Oh, I believe it, but I'm just grateful. Archangel Michael reassures you that he's guiding you and making sure that your needs are met and your relationships stay healthy. Possible specific meanings, heal or leave an unhealthy situation. There we are. We're going to heal ourselves. We're going to look up. We're going to relate to spiritual values. We're going to take time out to have no chatter in the head, to hear messages and write down. It's so important for you to journal. You know, even if it's a word or a phrase, jot it down. Date it, jot it down. And, and put it in a drawer. And then come back to it a month later, a year later, whatever you want to do. But it'll change your life. And that's when you know you're on the right track. Possible specific meanings. Heal or leave an unhealthy situation. Don't compromise. Face your fears. Hold loving thoughts about yourself and this situation. There you go. Jesus talks like that with unconditional love. Hold loving thoughts about yourself and this situation. Say, I can do this. I believe this is what I have to do now. And the prayer. I appreciate your support in helping me face my feelings with grace and acceptance so that I can be lovingly honest with myself and others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for giving me courage and strength. There you go. And Archangel Michael, how can we not love Archangel Michael? My goodness gracious me. So now we have the two heaviest players here in the faith of spirituality because uh, Archangel Michael is in all kind of religions, not just Christianity. I mean, he's in Muslim, he's in everything, okay? He is non-denominational, as they say. And the Christ, well, you know, remember, Christ wasn't a Christian, my darlings. Christ was a Jewish Okay, he was Jewish. I just, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I really am. I'm so happy. And I just have to read from the King of Cups because, like I said, this was written over a hundred years ago, and I want to see. Uh, what I apologize, I keep forgetting his name here. Arthur Edward Waite uh, thought about his King of Cups. I want to see what he says about the King of Cups, and then we'll close it down. But I genuinely wishing you all the best. Uh, believe in yourselves. Don't give up on your dreams. Okay, don't give up on your dreams. Extraordinary dreams lead to extraordinary lives, okay? Extraordinary dreams lead to extraordinary lives. And when you align with the divine and work with spirit and saying, you know, I want you to bless me with this or can you advise me with it, guide me, and you write it down, whatever you hear or you see in your third, you know what to do. Just open your mind, people. King of Cups. He holds a short scepter in his left hand and a great cup in his right. 
His throne is set upon the sea. On one side a ship is riding, and on the other side a dolphin is leaping. There you go, see? See the, the ship and then the dolphin. They could have made a cuter dolphin. The implicit is that the sign of the cup naturally refers to water, which appears in all the court cards. Okay, so he's talking about his own deck. Divinatory meanings. Fair man, man of business, law, or divinity. Responsible, disposed to oblige the querent. There you go. I've never, I've never heard it like that. I didn't realize that the king of cups is obliged, disposed to oblige the querent, which is the person we're reading for. So call upon the king of cups, my darlings. Also, equity, art, and science, including those who profess science, law, and art. Creative intelligence. There we go. Creative intelligence. Imagine working with invisible intelligence, and they, they send the messages to you for that creative intelligence. And you see, that's why I'm saying I love him, because he has to think. He, had, he has to use his mind, body, soul, everything. Beautiful. Just wonderful. All right, my darlings. It's on, it's on the table here. Believe in you. Again, I encourage, please take every day a moment of silence for yourselves. Call upon your guides, whoever that may be. And, uh, you know, and even if you don't follow religion per se, but Jesus is the one that's going to change everything. I totally believe that. I believe something's going to happen. I, I've been talking about that for years. But I'm so happy he came through for us, Libra. I truly am. Love to you all. Thank you, my darlings. I, I want the best for all of us. Believe in you. Love you first. Okay? And, and, and may you seek unconditional love and that you receive it back in bounty, okay? To make yourself that person that you can earn a living, that you can provide, you can care for others. It's, it's, it's like pure beauty. And don't get ready to move, okay? Get ready to move spiritually. Get ready to move. Oh, my Lord. Get ready to move in a positive way. Love you. Ciao.